Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will see how to manage contact attributes in Proactive Outreach Manager 2.5. These contact attributes can be of any type, predefined or custom. We will begin this by opening EPM's Web Administration Access because that is where Proactive Outreach Manager's Web Admin lies as well. So log in here with admin user and its password first. If you look at the home page of Experience Portal Manager, we see Proactive Outreach Manager under Installed Components. And when we scroll down here, we see Form Home and Form Monitor under Form. So click on Form Home here. This is the Proactive Outreach Manager 2.5's home page. Go to Contacts, go to Attributes. As we know, there are two types of contact attributes available on Proactive Outreach Manager. Those are predefined and custom. There are lots of predefined attributes listed here in this page. And as we go down, there are a couple of custom attributes as well. Now we will try to add a new attribute by clicking on button Add. This opens up Add New Attribute web page. First of all, give an attribute name. Let's give us attribute 1. Then there are attribute data types which can be chosen from this drop down. Let's choose character to be the data type of this attribute. Then we have an option of making this attribute private, which means this attribute will be accessible only to your organization through which you have logged in. If you leave it unclicked, this will be allowed for all the organizations. Click on save to save the changes. Now we come back to attributes web page and as we scroll down, we see attribute 1 also listed here. And this is custom type attribute with character as its data type and not marked as private which means it is allowed to all. There are a couple of operations that can be performed on the custom attributes. This one is to see the details of the attribute. Click on this detail icon. This opens up the detail attribute web page where it shows different attributes of this attribute that we have defined. It shows the name, data type, organization, whether it is private or not, campaign, strategies, restrictions, all of those things. Let's click on OK to go back. Let's scroll down again to go to attribute 1. Now the next icon is to associate this attribute to any existing organizations. As we have not marked it as private, it is grayed out. And the last one is to delete that attribute from the contact attribute list. If we click on this, it throws a confirmation message. If you really want to delete this attribute, if you click on yes, attribute 1 will be deleted out of the system. And once this page is refreshed, attribute 1 will no longer be available. So this completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments or feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or follow us on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing avaya.